Today we'll look at how to keep the intelligent box and add cut features to elements in Advanced Deal 2021. So I've created a portal gable frame and you will find out on the extended modeling tab, structural elements, and it's the first icon. So you can go through the properties, the gable set out, and there's different properties that you can change. It seems to be pretty straightforward. You can change the level of the columns from the zero point. Again, you can uncheck symmetrical and so on. So take note of the item number and the little figure that you have. That's a really good helper in advanced steel. Okay, so we'll just go to the sections. Again, you have columns are equal or columns are not equal by checking or unchecking the box. Projections one and two are used for perhaps an overhang. You can put in a value there. So projection one will be on the left side and projection two on the right side. Put in any value that you seem fit. Position of frames. Here the default is portal frames, but from the flyout you can select gable frames. So there you have more tabs where you can further customize sections, gable sections, So there's various elements where you can fine tune further. So you can change the orientation of the columns by checking the box. So you can see that they've changed. And again, you can split the rafters. So you can see that the rafters are split. So this can all be done within the macro. You can jump down to the gable distances and depending on the distance in between has a direct impact on the number of posts that you can put in. So portal, position of frame again, more fine tuning. So that's in a nutshell how you can pretty much customize your portal gable frame. You can even name the frame from the properties. So name it whatever makes sense to you. And in conjunction with the Project Explorer, why not create a folder and name it accordingly? For the time being, I'll name this one Parent. Then select the OK. There's a folder. What is really nice is you can drag and drop the levels into the folder. There you go, you can collapse it. And if you're not good with the parent name, well, you can right click or double click and you can change that, let's say south, south frame. So let's get to the features. You can see I've already put in some cut features to the gable portal frames in the center. So let me just remove those beam features by using the selection and erase. Quick and simple, jump down to the features and I could use a shorten. You want to make sure or a short not UCS, but make sure your UCS is set to world first. So you can see the UCS is set to world. So for this scenario, you could use a shorten in the beam category. And again, the value is three foot six, or you could go up to shorten at UCS. And this is for plates and beams. So you can see they're totally different. Again, it depends on your scenario. I'll just put in the values here. And that's how you can implement beam features in Advanced Steel 2021.